I could see she was eyeballing me in a way mm -hmm. that was wondering. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Shake it. eyeballing her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a standoff in a Western. This is Earth Mama. And um, the film is about a young single mother who has two children in the foster care system. And she has one child on the way. And she's met with the system and the, the obstacles um, that she faces. And she has to decide what she's gonna do with her unborn child. So we started off um, initially meeting other mothers from two organizations, one called Chicks in Crisis and one called Black Mothers United. That was the initial research. And then beyond that, we kind of read a lot of different mothers' accounts of how they were kind of dealing with their children in the foster care system and um, what obstacles they were facing and how they were kind of trying to combat that and what they were running into and all this like very bureaucratic paperwork that they had to go through. Our, our star right here, um, who's in almost every scene of the film, she's just very okay with being vulnerable in front of people. And I think that's one of her strengths. Dochi just like blew our mind because she, she actually flew to New York or she was in New York. And that was our initial kind of casting with one another. And she's just hella funny. Like <laughs> we have, it's like naturally funny. And that's what pe people really gravitate to her for that. Um, and then they just had such a connection together that it just worked really well. And then with Erica, she wanted to rehabilitate me <laughs> in my career. I said, thank you, girl. <laughs> thank you for coming for me. And then Lou over here, I've just been like admiring Lou's music for a while now. And then mm -hmm. um, some crazy, I don't know what happened to the universe. And um, Lou was coming to New York at the same time as I was looking for a musician and we mm -hmm. met and like, instantly connected over this music we just threw references back and forth and like first day after we met she was already in the studio making music yeah i feel like even though my character was like really funny and had like a lot of comedic relief i could relate to that i feel like i'm definitely trina in real life like to all of my friends it's annoying because like my friend will be going through something horrendous and I'll make a joke out of it. But like, not in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, girl, you'll be all right. Like, tighten up. Like, we've been through this Too before. Too bad you got hit by that car. Girl, <laughs> a coma, whatever, a coma schmoma. <laughs> um, so I really related to that. I feel like that dynamic was very real mm. off top. It was like super easy to be like, oh, this is the homie, you know? We were kind of like from two different worlds, but she definitely brought relief to me because I had to be very still as Gia, mm -hmm. very like kind of stoic and just, yeah, just being a mom in real life and just having that lens of like, damn, does this shit ever get easier? So all of, a lot of it was real. I feel like all of it was real. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't mm -hmm. think anything was too far beyond or mm -hmm. away from us. Certain movies that you watch and you just think about all the time. Um, in your regular mm -hmm. life. And I feel like this is like one of those ones, whether we were just viewers or a, a part of it, I feel like it's like, it stays with you. Mm -hmm.